grew up with um, a comedian, literally. I did. So t um, tell me about you and Dan oh, Soder growing up. That's and, great. So um, yeah. Dan Soder and I were, um, we became best friends in seventh grade. Um, and we were both, um, you know, kind of awkward, oversized head to body ratio. Um, that changed. Uh, it did. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, but we, we were, we wanted to get involved in the cool kids. Um, and, you know, we had aspirations of middle school popularity like everyone does. Um, and we had a little sect of friends that was kind of like, at that time, it was like a, a skateboarding crew. Um, and this is in Colorado. In Colorado. Still in Greeley or down in Denver now? This, this is in Laredo Middle School. Okay. In, um, in uh, what was unincorporated Arapahoe County, now Centennial. Okay. And uh, what, what was interesting about it was, you know, in middle school, uh, to be cool is. A little Not 225 action, are we talking? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 225 exit yeah. on the road. There you go. Go south. Yeah. You can go on Quincy or Orchard, whatever. Okay. Um, I like it. And then, uh, but we we weren't cool enough to be cool in middle school, because in cool in middle school, you had to be smoking marble reds. You had to be, wow. girls had to be interested in you. Yeah, that, that um, killed me. We, 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 we didn't, we weren't ready for marble reds. Um, and girls weren't that interested in us. So we got picked on in our little crew um, of uh, friends that were the cool kids, but we were the bottom feeders of the cool kids. Um, and we, um, on days where we had a ton of unrest of people just poking at us, we'd be like, you know, one day you're gonna be a stand-up comedian. I'm gonna be a head coach. And then they'll laugh. And we used to say that, we used to say that stuff. You spoke I mean, it into existence. We, we were both those random quirky kids that had their career set out at like five years old. Um, and he r literally became an actor and a stand-up comedian. Oh yeah, he, well he did it the, the, the half loony way where he went, um, he went to the University of Arizona, he did open mics in Tucson, um, which, okay, and then, yeah, right. then he graduates and he moves to New York City and did it the, gra you know, the don't skip a step, um, w you know, work as a waiter, serve people so that you can go on these free spots and develop your craft. Wow. You know, it's, it was the coolest process. Um, it's probably a lot like, you know, training receiver coaches for Kyle Shanahan uh, over the off season. Very much so, yeah. but he was, you want to talk about something entertaining, you have a, you have a, 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 a young adult trying to figure out who he is, who's passionate about comedy. He, um, I remember we took a spring break in high school as, as seniors, we drove to, in one of those Astro minivans. Um, nice <laughs> to Arizona or something um, and it he had this tape of this guy named Dave Chappelle right what year is this 99 whoa um, 99 was no no it was 2000 because his junior year it wasn't senior year now that I think of it Man. Um, and and he could and he was like exposing this whole group of friends to this hilarious Dave Chappelle character but then he had this um, unique way, like memorizing a song where we'd be at the end of the night, um, you know, maybe it was on that trip, maybe it wasn't, uh, a bunch of, you know, guys staying at one house. Uh, we just probably went to a house party somewhere because somebody's parents were out of town, we'd go back and, and then he would be able to go, he'd be able to um, do stand-up routines from other people that we hadn't heard. Whoa. And we'd be like pissing ourselves. That's cr so. And then, and then that morphed into okay, well, in high school, parents aren't always out of town, so you can't have these parties on the weekends You're trying to find stuff to do. Oh, let's go to Soder's garage. And then he would be, we'd be. It's like a garage band. And then he would just be going, he'd get into these grooves and just be rattling off the stuff. So he was getting training. Mar for Marlboro's involved yet, or was that? Um, I think, you know, uh, 
what's it called where you can't get in trouble for statute of limitations right, I think yeah. it passed yeah so um they're pro i bet there was yeah um, i never jumped onto that train yeah um for whatever reason but yeah there was that there was some uh you know, if if we could find the right adult, maybe some alcohol purchase yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. Um, but we'd be hanging out in there, and he would just be unleashing this. And that's where, to me, when I talked to him, that's where he got that drive on top of the, like, oh, I think this is what I want to do. Oh, no, this is what I need to do. And it's been unbelievable to watch him progress to points of, yeah, he's on billions. That's what people know. But he has specials. He has HBO special. And like just for like us, like back of the garage. Like, yeah. No, Chris Rock has HBO special. Right. Do you have an HBO special? Uh, like it's so, been really cool to watch. 